Welcome to another episode of the second math skill series on navigation. In this episode, we'll take a look at a highly requested feature, multiple backstack support for navigation. Let's say your app uses bottom navigation view. With this change, when the user selects another tab, the backstack for the current tab will be saved and the backstack for the selected tab will be restored seamlessly. Starting with version 2.4 Alpha 1, the navigation UI helpers support multiple backstacks without any code change. This means that if your app uses setup with nav controller methods for bottom navigation view or navigation view, all you need to do is to update the dependencies and multiple backstack support will be enabled by default. Let's see this in action using the advanced navigation sample from this repo. The app consists of three tabs and each tab has its own navigation flow. To support multiple backstacks in earlier versions of navigation, we needed to add a set of helpers in navigation extensions file to this sample. With these extensions, the app keeps a separate navhost fragment with its own backstack for each tab and swaps between them as the user switches from one tab to another. Let's see what happens if I remove these extension functions. To do this, I delete the navigation extensions class and remove all users switching over to the standard setup with nav controller method from navigation UI for connecting our bottom navigation view to the nav controller. I also combine the three separate navigation graphs into a single graph by using the include tag. Now our activities layout just includes a single nav host fragment with our single graph. When I run the app, this time bottom tabs do not keep their state and reset its back stack as I switch to other tabs. With navigation extensions removed, the app lost multiple backstack support. Now I update the version of navigation and fragment dependencies. Once Gradle Sync is complete, I run the app again and I can see that each tab keeps its state when I navigate to another tab. Notice this behavior is enabled by default. Finally, to verify that everything works, let's run the tests. This app already has several tests to verify the multiple backstack behavior. I run the bottom navigation test and watch different tests running and testing the bottom navigation behavior. Voila! All our tests pass. That's it! If your app uses bottom navigation view or navigation view, and you've been waiting for multiple backstack support, all you need to do is to update your navigation and fragment dependencies. No code changes needed. If you are doing something more custom, there are also new APIs to enable saving and restoring the backstack, which you can learn more in this article linked in the notes below. If you are curious to learn more about the underlying APIs and what needed to be changed to support multiple backstacks, you can check out this article, which is again linked below. If you enjoyed this navigation series, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.